I'll show you how to connect this uh, modem for the first time. If you can look into this place. I have my SIM already inserted. So it's in place. Now, for the first time, I'm going to use this USB cord to connect it to my PC. So I plug this end to the USB port beside the laptop. And the the other one behind the modem so as it begins to charge I'm going to power it so can you see this this thing connects without even saying a word. Look at it's connected. And if I go to my browser and type uh, 192.168.0.1 and I say enter it opens up now the default password should be admin and it's open can you see that this is so 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 easy to, to work with so so easy just connect to your usb Go to your browser, type 192.168.0.1, then use admin as your password or whatever password that comes with your package. And that is it. So let's see if it's browsing. Whoa, look at that speed. Whoa, can you see? Can you see the speed? All right, so this is what I want to do now. I want to disconnect it from the USB port and see what happens. Now, my network is disconnected. Can you see that? Now, let me connect again. Connected. And here is my network. So I disconnect again. As in, I disconnect the USB from the from the PC, and the network goes down. Then when I connect again, and it's connected. So, how do I connect this thing wirelessly? That is the next step I'm going to talk about. So, if I go into settings, I go to Wi Fi settings, so if you look at network broadcast name, it's set to disable. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to enable it, then under security mode, if you choose open, then your Wi-Fi is not secured, meaning anyone can join into your network. But if you want to secure it using a password, then you have to choose any of the other options. Then for the password, you can choose to display the password, and uh, the password should be the same as the one on the modem. If you go to the modem, 
you press the middle button then you will see a key there that key and the password should be the same thing and uh, when you have entered that you simply say apply and uh, your settings should be saved it says all connected wi-fi devices need to reconnect do you want to continue say yes it says success so this is what i'm going to do now since i have enabled the wi-fi broadcast i'm going to disconnect the usb right now so i disconnect the usb then come back here turn on my wi-fi and here is my modem wi-fi modem you can see the name this name displayed here is exactly the one displayed in here if you can take a good look at this it says mf910 same thing here e 45 bb one that is what you have here so right now i can connect this and asking for that same password so i'm going to go into this place this key as you can see here this key becomes my password so i'm going to include this into this place so i type everything is in capital letter so i type p double eight p u j c n e p and i say next it has to log me out and ask me to log in again so like, it, like i said check your package to see your password my own password is admin so i'm back here and this time i'm connected do you see that it says connected you can disconnect and your network goes up now you can connect again and it's connected so can i browse now let's see if i can browse now wow this is so fast so fast so this is a uh, basically how to enable your wi-fi setting on this modem and connect wirelessly if you don't want to connect wirelessly you can use the usb port and connect to this device so what i can say is that this is a two-in-one device so you choose whichever one you want to do thank you for watching this video and have a very nice day